What's up, everybody? Typical gamer here with your daily YouTube live streams and more. I almost just did press the button to get it started. So uh, today for you guys, I got some GTA 5 Zombie Apocalypse mod. This is episode 19. I can't believe this is already the 19th episode in this series. We've been doing it for quite a while though. So you know, maybe that does make sense. Episode 19 though of Trevor trying to find his family, trying to help everybody in the zombie apocalypse and trying to make his way through. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, this is your favorite series. I don't know if it's going to be on Friday every time anymore, but we also might be doing seasons. So more news of that, I'll always let you guys know over on Twitter, twitter.com slash typicalgamer. Be sure to follow me there. But in today's episode, uh, I believe we probably have some more work from uh, the government. Now, in the last episode, if you guys remember, we took out their actual facility, the Meriwether facility, the mercenaries that are here trying to take advantage of the zombie apocalypse. We took them out. We blew up all their research labs and stuff like that as to the uh, sort of the the government's um, the their their task was for us to do that essentially we've done that and we we should be getting notice of where to find our family now. that is what we're waiting for but Colt said agent Colt said there's a couple more things there's always a couple more things in these kind of situations, isn't there? Anyway, guys, if you guys watch and enjoy this, make sure you smack that like button. Let's see if we can go for 20,000 likes. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Now, as you can see here, our car is still damaged. So, uh, Mechanic said that we can't be taking it out yet. He's still got to work on a bunch of things. We got a bunch of zombie bits in the engine and all that. So, uh, he's got to go to work on that. Uh, somebody's brought in one of these rusty vehicles, so he's going to take some parts off on there to uh, make the mod modifications we need to get that going here. And uh, they've moved some supplies over here to help him out as well. And uh, if you go over here, you guys were probably watching the last live stream. You can see we took off the door. We made it more secure on the outside. And then all these sort of um, supplies the government supplied to us so that we could continue doing what we're doing. Some things are flowing over there. Don't worry about the floating stuff. Don't worry about that at all. Anyway, oh, okay, we have an incoming radio from Colt over here. Hello? Hello, Trevor. Hello, Agent Colt. How you doing? I'm good, Trevor. Thank you. Um, so we're going to need you to do one more thing. It's always one more thing, isn't it? Well, why, why do I got to do this? You said last time, if I did it, that this would be the time to tell I mean, me where my family really is. you don't really have a choice now, do you? You're not really in any position to bargain. Touche. So, what do you need me to do? That being said, uh, we're gonna need you to retrieve a laptop. It is located in this old house. I put the coordinates in your map, so you should have no problem finding it. I'm gonna need you to go get that, uh, bring it back to our downtown facility, and you can just leave it in the car. So I have to go into this house. Yes. Which is located pretty close by. Yes. Locate a laptop. Where would it be? It's somewhere in there? It's somewhere in the house. I'm not sure of the exact whereabouts, but it should be there. And then I have to bring it back to your facility. Do you want that at the airport facility this time? Sure, yes. Or at the other facility? No, the airport facility would be good. Okay. What is so important on this laptop? We can't tell you that. Project Phoenix, huh? All you have to do is retrieve it. You don't need to know anything else. And this is the time? This is the time that I get my family? We'll see how you do, and uh, we'll keep in contact after that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Talk to you when it's done, then. All right. Bye, Trevor. Bye. All right, guys. So we we got our mission. Apparently, we got to do more and more stuff for the freaking government. It's nonstop here. Um, oh, boy. We thought it was going to be over with the last one, but apparently it's not. So let's go ahead and get some supplies before we head over there and go check out what this house is. And uh, what what lies in it for us to uh, discover essentially so let's go over here and let's interact with this weapons crate we're gonna go ahead and give everything to it there we go and let's go ahead and get back from it let's get a pistol 50 we're gonna get a let's get uh, I want a shotgun is there no shotguns Oh, pump shotgun there we go perfect this looks freaking fantastic uh, what slot does that take up over here let's see uh, we got, uh, ooh, these two slots are taken. So we can get a sniper here, Molotov, uh, and then I believe like an assault SMG would work as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's interact with this. 
And let's get the... I believe it would just be sniper rifle. There we go. Oh, no. That sniper rifle takes that slot over. So we'd have to go heavy sniper then, I believe. So let's go over to heavy sniper. There we go. And then let's get the... I feel like I'm missing some weapons. Although I'm probably not. Assault SMG. There we go. And then we should be good. We got to get this pump shotgun back though. Hey! Hey! I guess we got to put it away first. The other sniper. So let's put this sniper away. And we should be able to pick up the shotgun. There we go. All right. So right now, our weapons right here consist of the Desert Eagle, which looks mighty fine. Modded into the game. Looks fan diddly -tastic. Then we also got the pump shotgun, which looks amazing. I love the way this model looks. Looks freaking great. And then we also got our Assault SMG and our Heavy Sniper as well. Additionally, we're going to go ahead and craft or uh, get the Molotov that we can have here put that on our belt as well and I don't know what these two slots take up they're not like normal GTA 5 they take up different things as you can already tell by this whole weapon wheel so uh, I don't know what these slots take up but it's definitely not something that uh, is uber important important it might be so if we see a drop maybe that would be a good idea to uh, snatch one of those all right so let's make our way out we can't use one of these vehicles so we got to use uh, we gotta use our own wits about it. Actually, let's grab that. We we gotta grab that so we can get any weapons on the field right here. We gotta grab these and get uh there we go. Let's pick that up. And I wanna say if you guys do love the zombie apocalypse stuff, if you love zombies, make sure you check out Dying Light. I've done the main game and the DLC as well. They're both on my channel. If you guys love the zombie apocalypse stuff, that is something that you need to see. All right, as you can see, our easy in and easy out exit of our bunker. I kind of like it without the door. What do you guys think without the door? It looks kind of more epic, doesn't it? It's got that epic feel. So we're over here. We're out here in the wilderness, and we are just living our life. Now, again, I asked you guys, do you think that we should trust the government? So do you think we should touch the government, which is here, it's just like, it's not even the government. It's like the, the, the shambles of what it used to be with multiple people taking power, which probably shouldn't be have power. They, should, they weren't elected in or anything. So it's that or the governor, and most of you have decided to uh, go, oh wow, there's a coyote over there. Do you see that? That's very rare in the wild here with all these zombies. Look at all these zombies here. It's a beautiful day for zombie shooting. What do you guys say? Let's pop off some of these zombies. I've tried and with Woo! There we go. Oh gosh, we almost got that start off. We almost got to a rocky start there. We're going to go ahead and blast some of these fools. There we go. A lot of people saying don't trust them. It's hard not to trust them because uh, they apparently know where our family is. And that's all we freaking care about right now. We don't care about what Project Phoenix, Phoenix is. Should we care about that? Should we take a look at the laptop before we give it in, guys? We gotta get, speaking of the laptop, we gotta get over there now. Friendly survivors nearby. Wouldn't mind some backup as well. Or maybe we should go into it solo. We don't know what's on that laptop. It could be anything. Could be tons of information regarding Project Phoenix or Operation Phoenix, whatever they want to call it. Whichever that could stand for. I mean, some of you guys had some theories of what it could be. Could it be, because Phoenix rise from the ashes. You know, they never really die. So could that mean like a cure from for the zombie apocalypse or could that mean potentially the end of the zombie apocalypse in terms of the end of everybody who is infected whatever manner they take to do uh in implementing that may do with the sort of the bomb that we delivered with to them that we stole from Merriweather. it could be potentially from that so i don't know we have a lot of choices of that one of them was making as much noise as possible for the fun of it let me see if we can... Oh my gosh. Oh! That was a beautiful ragdoll right there. Alright, let's get this car over here. Now to get this car, unfortunately, it is coupled with a lot of our zombie friends. <laughs> that was a great shot. Hey! Oh! Damn! Y'all messing with Trevor now! That's the problem. Let's keep going for these headshots here. What do you guys think Operation Phoenix is, guys? Let me know in chat. And is there a use to the police car we still have? I don't know. There's a lot of questions to be answered. Maybe some of that is in the documents on that laptop. Oh, wow. We really cleared everybody out. Oh, gosh. There's more coming, too. We gotta... Let's just... I thought I heard somebody. 
This car's not on fire, is it? The car is damaged, though. Let's take out the rest of these guys. We gotta loot them, because we need to get ammo as well. And these guys sometimes drop weapon parts. Come the fudge on. Oh, there's a Meriwether drop nearby as well. Okay, we need to really loot these quick. Oh, we need to get some more water as well. Did we ever end up getting water? Oh, boy. Uh, we don't have any packaged food. We have clean water. Holy fudge. There we go. Okay, we should be good. All right. Let's just finish off this guy, too. He's going to get the Desert Eagle. He's going to get the Desert Eagle treatment right there. There we go. You guys think it's a nuke? A lot of people think it's a nuke. A lot of people think, also, it could be a cure. I'm seeing a lot of people say cure, nuke. It could be anything, really. We don't know. So, my question to you real quick. For those of you watching, for those of you who are watching this after it's a video as well, do you think I should keep the laptop, tell them I couldn't find it, and find a way to crack it open? There's probably a password on it. Let's be real. Let me take out these people real quick. There we go. And we should have enough to repair it. There we go. We had to slaughter a lot of freaking zombies to get this car, okay? We should go get that Meriwether drop as well while we're at it. I mean, the more we could take down Meriwether, the better for us and the better for uh, the government as well. All right, this is good here. Now, it's a little bit up the ways over here. Remember, we have that radio, which we can hear their transmissions coming in. We stole it from Meriwether. So that is how we get to see all of this stuff. And then we also have our radio where we can see the... Uh, where we could see where there's friendly survivors that are calling for help and stuff like that. Alright, so let's book it over here. Oh gosh, I already see them. Ooh, what is this house that I'm at? Alright, let's take a... Maybe I should get a nice sniper position on top of this house, actually. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to reach it from there. Alright, let's get this right here. Let's go ahead and jump over here. And start taking out... Oh, can I get the two-for-one special? Oh, that did not go two-for-one. Oh, they did not know where I was shooting from. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Let's keep moving. I dropped my bag on top of the car. Look at that. All right. Let's make it up over there. We should be good in terms of Meriwether people. We can take their Jeep as well. Oh, look at that. All right. They're all down. Another one bites the dust. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of zombies. Let's go ahead and put this weapon crate down over here. Yoink. And we are going to go ahead and loot this. Yes. Why did I get a firework launcher? Why on earth do they have a firework launcher? What else did they get? Oh, they got a Something bunch of stuff other. in here. None of these took up the slots that I wanted to, though. I was kind of hoping that some of them took up those slots. But let's go ahead, interact with this, and just give everything. And see if we can get more weapons back here. There we go. I guess the nightstick. I can't really pick up the nightstick instead of the bullpup, really. So we're going to go ahead and give pump shotgun knife. Here we go. And then, can we pick these up again? How do they take the same s slot? Like, that's a little wacky to me. Let's get that real quick. Oh, fudge. Oh, we really need a gun. Oh, this is bad. Go. Oh, whoa, look. Oh, this shotgun's dope. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys prefer the pump or this one? The bullpup shotgun is no joke. Oh gosh, I don't want to accidentally shoot that jeep. Alright, um, what does that take up? Oh, that's good. Okay, we can have both shotguns actually. So let's go ahead and pick up the pump. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the pistol 50. The heavy sniper. And did I put away my Molotov? I might have put away my Molotov. Oh, I definitely did. Let's give him, we're going to give him the up close treatment right here. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this crate. There we go. Look how badass we look. Don't we look freaking cool? Do you guys think this looks way cooler than Trevor's other outfit? I think so. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to make our way over to that house now. If you guys are watching this and enjoying it, you guys love the Zombie Apocalypse mod series. You want to see more and more of it. You want to see a Season 2 when Season 1 is over. Make sure you smack that like button in 3, 2, 1 like spike boom baby that's what i'm talking about i want to say sorry for all the late live streams recently i'm gonna be um doing them earlier very very soon probably starting monday you'll see live streams starting a lot earlier because a lot of you guys are on summer and stuff like that so late live streams do work but uh, i do want to do them early for for both our sakes for both our sakes so let's go ahead and make our way over 
to... Oh, there's some survivors there. Maybe we should help them real quick. Oh! Oh, great. Oh, great. One more roll! One more roll! Oh, he landed perfectly! Missing door, blood everywhere. As perfect as could be. Alright, hello, survivors! You guys good? Do you guys need some help? Why'd you guys radio it in? Oh, you just... There's a horde you want to deal with. Oh, boy. It's always something with these guys, isn't it? That guy looks real messed up. Are you okay, dude? Oh, he's running right in. These guys are sad. I'm just gonna observe them today. Usually I help them out, but these guys look like they got everything on. Did you just shoot me? Ow! You're shooting me by accident, you little. I look at him up there with the baseball bat. Oh, no. Um. I don't think they're faring very well. Um. Are we getting pinned? Oh, we might get beat. Just shoot the deagle into the crowd. Why did people go in with baseball bats? That only works in The Walking Dead, not in real zombies. Hey, Gotta finish these guys off. Reloaded. These zombies will not go down. Holy shoot. This is why this guy need backup. Why is that guy running away? Come back here, coward! Holy shoot. That was an enemy, right? It's so hard to tell who's a zombie sometimes. Oh gosh. Okay, let's finish off this horde here. Oh no. Oh, that guy just got turned over there. That's why you don't run away from the crowd. Gosh, there No, 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 buddy, buddy! Oh, I think I saved him. I think I saved him. Oh, I just shot him in the freaking head. Oh, this is getting way worse than I thought. Luckily, I got the accuracy of a young legend here. Holy fudge. Have we ever seen this many zombies? How many do we got to take out? They just don't stop coming. They're everywhere. I think we should keep these guys. These guys here can hold their own. What do you guys think? In case Operation Phoenix is something we do not want to be part of, we should start thinking about building a crew of the, the best of the best here. And I think these guys might be part of it. I mean, they, they've got some damn fine shooting. Okay, let's see how the, let's see what well they do here. We're going to go ahead and grab them. Here, come with me. We just waste a lot of our ammo. And we're going to go ahead and get that Meriwether crate. Come on, let's go. Let's get on out of here. Thank you, everybody, for joining in on that like spike. By the way, truly appreciate all the support. We're going to have, like, the TG Elite Squadron here. All right, get in, get in, get in. Where is this drop going to be? We got the coordinates. All right, the coordinates are actually... Ooh, that's not good for us. That's right near our bunker. That might be bad news. That is right near our bunker. Keep them. All right, let's keep moving here. These guys are dedicated to taking down these zombies. Although they are not about the silent approach, clearly. Holy shoot, bro. You're, you're going to make me deaf. You are going to make me deaf. Hold on to your seats! Oh, that is right near it. Our, oh, they didn't notice the bunker, though. Clearly, they, they're they not. They wouldn't be dropping it near a bunker if they knew. I kind of want to go in stealthy. You know what? We're going in hard. We're going in hard. Fast and hard. Here we go. Hup! Holy fudge! Oh, fudge. Are you guys good? Oh, no. Not again. Is everybody else? Oh, they're all alive. They're all alive. Okay. You guys back me up. You guys back me up. I got to move this. I got to move this car. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right. You guys cover me while I get this crate. Please. Thank you. Okay. So, crate's here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, the revolver. No way. Woo! Look at that. That's some fancy stuff right there. Look at this six shooter here. Damn, that blows her heads right off. Wait, who just died? Who just died? 
He was bit 12 hours ago, apparently. Alright, you guys will be good here. Oh, I think, like, anywhere you can shoot him, really. Let's reload this. Oh, no. Okay, still needs to be a headshot to get that full effect. Alright, what did I drop here? They had heavy snipers, muskets. Okay, we really don't need that stuff. What did we drop? Oh, the bullpup rifle instead of the... Hmm. Should we go? I think we should keep the sniper, to be honest. I actually kind of like the bullpup. Okay, let's clear out these guys. They're near our base, too. Gotta make sure these zombies... Oh, there's another Merryweather crate. My goodness, there is so many freaking crate drops today. I'm out. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's finish these guys off. Come on. Okay, we already have a heavy sniper, so we don't gotta pick that one up. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, get in, get in, get in. We gotta figure out where this next one is. Some fancy Rick Rhyme stuff for real though, right? On the freaking real. Alright, get in, bro, get in. We lost one of the guys. He was infected though. He got bit a while ago, so luckily... I mean, he didn't tell us. These guys out there didn't tell us either, but before he died, he told us, so there's that. Now, we gotta make our way over... Did I never pick up that crate? No, I picked up the crate. I could just see the stuff at the, uh, the prison over here. So let's go ahead and make our way over to... Let's go over here. And, uh, right over and let's get this drop real quick. Oh, what the fudge? There's a deer! It's gonna cause more damage to us than it is to, to the environment. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, we're going in hot. Holy fudge! Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Move up, move up, move up! Go, 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 go! Oh, there's zombies too. Keep moving up, keep moving up. Oh no, one of our guys died! Did both of them die? Oh no. Oh fudge. Well that wasn't long lasted. This dude got blasted. Holy shoot. Rip those guys. They didn't even get their freaking names. Alright. Why did this container say fat fat? Fat fat. What weird names for containers. Alright. Is this the crate right here? Look at me. What'd you oh expect? you can tell when it has uh, weapons or when it has other stuff. Alright. We're just going to get out of here now. My goodness gracious. Alright, let's get on out of here. You only have yourself to blame. Oh no. Alright. Help Miku. Miku's fine, don't worry. Miku was you might have heard Miku meowing, it's just when Samara leaves, Miku always meows, so. Oh my gosh. I always bring her to the live stream when she meows, but if you don't if you don't worry about her for like uh, a minute, she'll stop meowing. All right, let's book it over here. Operation Phoenix isn't real. I think it's real. I mean, I guess we have no evidence. Maybe on that laptop is the all the evidence we need. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. Let's make our way over to the location now. We want to do it during the daytime. Make sure that we're good. Oh, fudge. Oh, it's okay. Make sure everything's good. All these zombies always chilling around here. We're gonna have to drive through the desert here, aren't we? Alright, so you can see the little green marker on the radar. That's where we need to go. Oh, too many zombies. Too many zombies. Alright, detour. Detour it is. Oh, what is this? Oh, I was gonna say this would be a good spot for a base, but there's a lot of places zombies can hide that you won't see. Alright, off-road. I guess with this vehicle, we kinda got it, right? Well, let's keep moving here. Okay, so we gotta take these back roads. Avoid zombies as much as we can. And get our butts over there. Look at this. this is some treacherous terrain. Oh, fudge. There's still zombies here! Okay, let's see if we can go through this. Take maybe this path up and over. That'll be our best way. 
Do you guys like third person or first person better? Let me know in chat. I want to know because I like playing it first person sometimes because I think the guns look way cooler. But I do like driving in third person because, I mean, this Jeep looks freaking badass. He looks freaking epic. Let's keep booking it over here. Oh, there's some health there. Don't mind if I do because we are kind of missing some health. Oh, wow. Can we look through this? What does this do? I guess money isn't really worth it nowadays, right? Huh. It's like a hippie park. Oh, you can see our old house from there. Alright, so we gotta go off in this direction. I don't know if we can see the place we gotta go to. But it's over there. Let's hop off this. Man, it's creepy out here by yourself. During the daytime, it's a bit better, though. I do gotta say, during the daytime, it is a bit better. A lot of people saying third person. I, I see more third than first. Let's keep it moving here as we track our way downhill. We just gotta ask this out. We didn't see anybody here unless, unless they're hiding in a really good spot. This is creepy. Now, I've been to this park before. This had to be done after the zombie apocalypse started. People believing there's aliens or something? Pleasure, karma, life. Happiness. Is there a cult or something? This looks like it might be from the tribe. Tribe would de this would definitely be up their alley. Very creepy though. Very, very creepy. Alright, let's book it out of here. Oh, that's weird. Campfire's still on. Hello? Anybody here? I had to have been lit recently. Alright, let's get on out of here. Oh, wow. I mean, they could have recently turned. That could have been a possibility. Oh, fudge. We just ruined all their paint. Okay. Let's get it on out of here. You do not want to have to deal with this. Alright, there we go. We have to go a bit off-road, but we're here now. We are here now. Now we gotta get the laptop and deliver them the vehicle as well. So there's, it seems to be a pretty straightforward job until you realize how much work they're involving us to do here. I appear there it seems to have crumbled under its own weight in the oh, zombie apocalypse. All right, zombies far in between here. Oh, I think it's that area over there. See all those trees? It's been a minute since we've been here. We have come here before, but... Clearly some vegetation growing. <coughs> Looks like to be at an alarming rate, though. The O'Neill's Ranch. Alright, we have enough gas. Let's make our way in here. Dodging any zombies we can. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's take care of this guy here. We gotta put him out to pasture. Oh, I am so sorry. Please tell me he died with that. Nope. Oh, wow. He flew. Did you see that? Game physics for the win. Alright. Come on. I don't want to have to shoot you. I really don't want to alarm more zombies than I need to already being here. Okay, I think he's dead with that. My goodness, look at this. This is not normal. What were they doing here? What were they doing here? Oh my goodness gracious, this is not the house. This is the house we've been to, but... Not like this. Oh 
Oh my goodness. This is insane. Alright. Let's just secure the perimeter of this house. Oh, I hear a lot of bugs in there. Oh, this is creepy right here. Holy shoot. Something happened here that grew all this life. Is this Operation Phoenix? I swear I just saw something in there. Oh, that's a zombie. Okay. Oh, fudge. This looks really bad. Okay, I guess we're going into the house. It's going to be nighttime too as well. Oh boy, there's going to be stuff in there, isn't there? There is going to be stuff in there. Let's make our way in here. Hello? Anybody here? Looks like somebody lived here past when... Is that a body? No. It does look like somebody's lived here past when we were in here. Alright, we need to equip a flashlight real quick. Let's get a flashlight on. Should be just in here. There we go. Right. door go anywhere now we're looking for a laptop they didn't really give us specifics if you guys see one let me know they give me a very specific I'll, I'll I'll be able to tell which one is by the way it looks oh my goodness this is a room we camped out in remember okay I need to turn my audio down or else I'm gonna get creeped out if something attacks me This is, uh, sketchy. We could just go home. That's a possibility, right? Oh, my flashlight's flickering, too. That's great. No, no, no. Come on. Don't do this now. Alright. My Jeep's good. Oh, that's not creepy at all. That's a dude, isn't it? Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, that's really creepy. Okay, a lot of people saying go to the basement. I think that's a good idea, too. Alright. Let's just clear out this top floor, then. So that's the downstairs there. Yeah, it definitely seems like a couple of people lived in here. Past the point when we're here. Oh, these doors are open. Okay, I have a feeling it's in the basement as well. Do you hear that? What was that? That was a shot. It's coming from out here. You guys are going to attract zombies. Oh no. Okay, where's that coming from? Oh, I really shouldn't have thrown away the sniper at this point. The shots are coming from over there. Nighttime's coming too. Zombies are going to be far more aggressive. What are they doing? Okay, we need a real quick. We need to set up a, a base of some sorts here. Okay, we made five barriers. <sighs> Fudge. Maybe they're coming for it too. Maybe it's Merryweather. Maybe it's Merryweather. Okay, it's getting dark in here too. We need to barricade the entrances we know about. Um... Which one leads out? Which one leads out? No, this doesn't lead out. Oh, that is super close. That's getting real close. Uh, no, this doesn't lead out. Does this one lead out? Oh, this one leads out. Okay, we need to quickly barricade this. Uh, barrier right here. Let's raise this up. There we go. One barrier in. Uh, I just heard a door open. Oh my god! Nope. Oh. 
No, this isn't good. Okay, I'm just gonna block the stairway. I'm not... I am not dealing with this right now. Oh my... This is like Nazi zombies from Call of Duty right now. Nope! Okay, we need to block more doors. We need to block more doors. Oh, this one's still blocked from what we did before. Do you see it? I think we put this down here. Oh. Oh, that's not gonna hold. I don't know if that's gonna hold. I don't know if they're getting in. We gotta fix this barrier. This barrier is not gonna hold. Close this door. Oh, fudge. Boom! Get the fudge out of here, lady! I'm not dealing with this right now. Close the damn door on your stupid head. Oh my goodness! Close the frickin' door. I don't care if it's blocking. Okay. Alright. Whew. Okay. What's got the light here? Is it the bullpup rifle? No, what had the light? Oh, it's the shotgun, isn't it? Great. See what all the shooting's about? I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to see what all the shooting's about. I don't hear shooting anymore. It's a little concerning. Oh, yes! You see that? I still have things blocked off. I gotta make sure everything's blocked, though. I think everything's good. Oh, gosh. Alright. It'd be probably a good idea to barricade some windows, too. That should be good, though. Look at this section here. Alright, half the windows are already barricaded, so that's good for me. Alright. This is the basement here. Do you guys hear that? Uh, without the light, it's pitch black in here. Do you guys see anything? I gotta deal with this first. Let me know if you guys saw anything. We gotta get up to the roof. I'm gonna assume it's the person over here. Brainless fool. Let's go. There's a lot of brain matter on that door right now. That is so creepy to look outside at night. Alright, let me know if you guys saw anything. We gotta keep this place safe until daytime. Is that somebody? Ooh, that is really creepy out there. Right, let's make our way upstairs. Why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet? All right, some people say they saw it. Where was it, guys? I wonder if there's a zombie down there. Whatever that is, it's not going down. Come on! There it is. Alright, let's make a bed for nighttime here. Um, wherever we make this, we gotta make it pretty secure. I'd make it here, but 
have the doors are like ripped open. These aren't even like functioning properly. We'd have to block all the windows. Do we have enough? We only have three barriers. That's not gonna work. Um, do we have maybe? We have four walls. All right, let's try to do this one real quick. Let's close that door up. A lot of people saying that it's definitely in the basement. Let me go ahead and block some windows here. These can be used to block sort of the bigger windows. There we go. Let's use these. It's on the shelf in the basement. Okay, I'll go check in a sec. Let me block this over here. Then block this one over here. And then it would be safe for me to block both doors until daytime, I think. So let's go ahead and barrier this door. There we go. And please tell me I have one more. Oh, I have two more walls. Sweet. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put this right here. Alright, so that means that we got room for a tent, I hope. There we go. We got a tent. Let's set up for the night. As long as we don't make sounds, no zombie should come, come and knock in here. Oh, great. I can't sleep until I take out a few more zombies. Right. Zombies? They're right near here. Oh gosh. Looks like one's in the house to be honest. No, they're like right in the most inconvenient spots too. I don't think we're sleeping tonight. I do not think we're gonna sleep tonight. Unfortunately, it looks like we got some zombies in some ill place spots. I can't get to there. Come here, we'll take out these two. This one for sure we can take out. The problem is when you shoot one, it attracts more. Which then creates a bigger problem. He's right there. How are we gonna do this? You know what? Moron! We gotta take out the other one too. Might as well just book it. Book it, book it, book it. It's right here. The other one's right here. I can hear him growling. Why, oh, why weren't you drowned at birth? There can only be so many in one spot, right? Cock, sucker! There we go. Okay. Let's make it back in. Let's make it back in, make it back in, make it back in. Thirst and hunger. I'm a bit more worried about the other stuff going on right now than my thirst and hunger, to be honest. Okay, well, now that's a vehicle repair kit. I just made one by accident. Okay. I think I, I either hear doors hitting or something else going on. Oh, fudge. Where did I go through? Oh, I went through there. Alright, let me just go ahead and put these barriers back up. There we go. Wall right here. And then... Wall right here. Please let me sleep now. Yes! Oh my gosh. Zombies cleared for the night, ladies and gentlemen. By goodness gracious, that is stressful. Shout out to Deontay Wilson for that super chat. Louis Flores and Darren, who says, I'm sharing the love. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate that. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to sleep there. I did not mean to sleep there. Okay. Oh, gosh. Now it's raining. This place is not very uh, well maintained, to say the least. Right now, you guys said you saw it in the... In the... Oh, I love, I love it during the daytime. There's still zombie corpses all around here. Let me loot them while I'm at it. If you guys are enjoying this, you enjoyed our survival of the night in this freaking creepy house, make sure you smack that like button in 3, 2, 1, like spike! Boom, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's keep moving it over here. Some people left good old eggs over here. Alright, so a lot of you guys were saying that in the basement, the freaking pitch black basement, here things bubbling. It was on a shelf. Ok, 
Okay. No, that's not it. There's cobwebs over here. Oh, laptop! Perfect. Look at this thing. That thing is chunky. Alright. Um, well, we gotta take it. Is this what I'm looking for? That is not. Okay, wait. Hold up. I need to do this, but I can't see squat. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. Yoink! Alright, so we got the laptop. Now we just gotta deliver this thing. My goodness, this is a creepy area. Oh, we gotta drink and stuff. Let's get out of the darkness, though, before we do that. There we go. Alright, now is the time to drink. Oh, we don't have food, do we? Alright, we can drink some water. Oh, we can make... Okay. Never make a campfire in here, they said. They don't know what I'm going through. There we go. We can make three cooked meat. That's not going to be enough, but uh, I guess it'll do for now. Alright, let's go ahead and we can leave a lot of these barriers up in case we ever want to come back here. I don't know why we ever would. Let's make our way out here. Oh, boy. I never want to go in this place again. We got freaking attacked by zombies like crazy. Alright, it's going to be quite muddy, but we got to get back downtown and deliver this thing. Let's make our way over here. Through the freaking mud. Thank you everybody for joining in on that like spike, by the way. Truly appreciate the support. Oh, there's a car here. You good? Ma'am? You okay? Holy shoot! Why don't you calm the fuzz down? My goodness gracious. Oh, damn. Look at the gun she had. She had a carbon rifle. You look like you with simple tasks. All right, we're putting this down. We're getting the shotgun. Okay, well then. That was the damsel in distress thing. It was one of those, wasn't it? Ooh, there's an ambulance over there. We're going to take this thing because we might get stuck in mud. We got to take the back roads there. We don't want anything getting in our way. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got a big decision to make, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the laptop with us. Do we bring it back to the government? Or do we maybe try to copy the drive? See if the mechanic can copy the drive or something like that. And then give him, give him the laptop, but then have the possibility of cracking the code and getting that information. Do you guys think that's better? They'll never know. They'll probably never know. And then we might get information on Operation Phoenix. Is that a good idea? Oh, fudge. Oh, that's what, what's not a good idea. It's hitting all those zombies. Oh, fudge. Nope, 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 nope. That's a gas tank. Well, that wasn't a gas tank. That was like a... Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a cool building. Right, a lot of people are saying copy it. A lot of people are saying don't do it, don't bring it to them. A lot of people are saying copy it. I think we should bring it over to the mechanic and get that copied ASAP. We're gonna copy the drive. Wow, this vehicle looks warped. This vehicle looks warped beyond. Oh, there's some survivors there. Maybe we should help them. Hello, survivors! I'm looking for some people who know what they're doing. Uh, I'm gonna grab four of you. Bro, of you lucky, lucky people. Ooh, you got a nice... Look at them roll in. Squad! Alright, we gotta help them or else they're not coming with us. I made that very clear. They didn't expect this. They didn't expect TG, the man with the shotgun, to come in hard. There you go. That was part of your survivor group? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to take a couple of you guys. Uh, you. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you, ma'am, uh, you, crazy redhead, and, oh, uh, yes, wow, we got all three girls. Let's go, come on, let's get out of here. They'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, fudge. It's nap time, kids. I gotta protect you guys, I protect anybody who's in my crew. 
The other guys were pretty keen on destroying all zombies in the town. And they said to go on without them. So let's go ahead and grab these girls and bring them back to base. And then we can go ahead and uh, make sure we get this drive copied. Oh! Blame my best friend. Blame my best friend. I love that line. Oh, wow. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, gosh. Oh, we broke a cactus. We broke a freaking cactus. Jeez, there goes our freaking windshield. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, gosh. Oh, this. Oh, no. I think the wheel might be a little botched. Oh, it definitely is botched. We almost ran into that. Oh, no. Come the frick on, bro. What are you going to do? All right, this thing is not driving properly. The suspension's all wonky. We got to get it. We're not making it downtown with this vehicle, first and foremost. Oh! Even less so. Come on. We got this, Betsy. Good old Betsy. There we go. She is just giving them the business right now, isn't she? She's just giving them the business. All right, let's get over to the bunker. Built up quite the uh, reputation with everybody now. And I believe there's a way we got to do this real quick to make this work 100%. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, there we go. But let's get back to this section here. There's just a little bug with that mod. There we go. And we should be good. Oh, we just went above it. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We went above it for a second. Okay, so we're going to pull up into the bunker here. Let us pull up into this bunker. Oh my gosh, that almost didn't work. All right, ladies. Welcome to your new home. Hope you guys get comfy in here. It's a real nice spot. Uh, I got to grab something real quick from here. Don't you worry. There we go. Um, you ladies go and do whatever the... Whatever your little hearts desire, okay? So, uh, let me guard this position for now. Alright, I gotta go speak with Mr. Mechanic over here. Mechanic! Still working on the car, huh? Alright, now I heard you got a bit of a... A geek background to you. Do you mind if you can copy this drive real quick? Uh, it's pretty important to me. I have some family photos on there and stuff, and uh, I really don't want to lose it in case anything happens. All right. Um, and there might be some other stuff from when I used to work at the government there. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to go to bed, and I will, uh, I'll come back for that in the morning, okay? Just, just get it done. All right, perfect. All right, let's get to bed. Jeez, this is... I mean, we can give them... We should just give them this. Let's give them it as a gift. Here we go. Oh, they're, they're attracted to all the loot over there. They want the loot. Oh, gosh. We almost broke the generator in the building. All right, bro. You can have this one. Take any scrap you need. I'm going to get a new vehicle. And I'll be back for the laptop in the morning. All right. Yeah, those guys should be coming soon. We told them where this place is. We don't want too many people to know, but we do want to save as many people as possible. I mean, look around. We've got room, and we've saved quite a few people so far. But we got to keep it coming. We got to keep it flowing to make a strong settlement. Bring Earth back to the place it used to be. All right? Look at everybody here. You guys are doing a dang fine job. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get a good night's rest. Let's lock this door. There we go. Alrighty. Mechanic never sleeps, basically, right? Alright, we're good to go now. Let's go ahead and make some shotgun ammo. Oh, yes. The shotgun's my new thing right now. I love the shotgun. Assault rifle. There we go. We had a lot of uh, weapon parts there. Alright. New morning. New day. Let me lock my office up. Actually, we're going to have to go bring that drive back once he gives it to us. How awkward it would be if the mechanic was missing. He was a secret operative of Meriwether. That would make sense, wouldn't it? 
Let's make sure he's not. Oh, he's still there. Okay. All right, dude. You got it all done? Thank you very much. You're a lifesaver, bro. You're a lifesaver. I appreciate that. I'm going to have some extra rations for you. All right? Actually, you got a mission for me. All right. Tell me that. Is it sensitive? Be done in a bit. Okay. When I come back, maybe I'll, I'll get that done for you. Okay? All right. Dope. All right. Well, for our favor, he said it was quite hard to copy it over a lot of encryption and stuff. What kind of family photos needs all this encryption? Well, you know what? Stop asking questions, mechanic. Let's put this drive in our bunk over here. And we'll figure out a way to decode it eventually. Alright. Let's slip that under there. Perfect. Let's lock this up. So nobody can get in there. Perfect. And now we gotta go find a vehicle, make our way downtown, and deliver the laptop. And get this freaking mission over and done with oh my goodness ladies you do not have to come with me oh you want to all right all right let's go come on we got to find a vehicle it's the least that I could do you could do you guys are far too kind oh, you really let's take out these zombies around this base here There's a lot of zombies around here. It is always raining recently. Oh, they give him the business. All right, we gotta find. Oh, oh, move away from that vehicle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's gonna blow. It's already destroyed. Oh, that guy did a backflip. That's kind of dope. Oh, fudge. No, 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 no. Girls, 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 girls. Just get in. Get in quick. I can't hold them off forever! Tool. Are all of you girls gonna make it? Get in, get in! Oh my gosh! That was way too close! Alright, luckily we still had a backup vehicle, essentially, to go through with. Oh! We're going all the way up! Oh! Fudge! Alright, we can't destroy this one like the other one. We need this one. We need this one alive and well. To do what we need to do and deliver this laptop why ever it is important we will not know until we can decrypt that drive so that's gonna be on our list of priorities we need somebody who is good at hacking and stuff like that if there's somebody already in the base that would be really useful if not we got to find somebody that'll help us with that okay let's make our way downtown and we gotta go to the airport facility, they said. Now, if I recall which one, I just gotta leave it in this vehicle and drop it off there. Maybe we can barricade the doors so that nobody can come get the vehicle. They'll send an operative shortly after we do it anyway, so it's not a big deal. This car is struggling. Struggling to get up this hill. Alright, let's keep moving here. Some construction that will never get finished. Oh boy. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of zombies. These girls do not quit though. We got a ragtag squad of champions right here. Oh, this car is not turning very well in the rain, I gotta say. Okay. Just hold on, girls. We're gonna be good. Oh. No, you're good. Nobody needs help. Almost locked it up here. Did we just lose a wheel? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. These zombies, though, are making this Jeep have a real hard time trying to survive out here. Come on now. We got this. Keep on pushing it. Those guys are still alive, right? I think they're still alive. Oh, they're still alive, see? They're still alive. Lester? We gotta look more into this Lester guy. Oh! Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, what a perfect little spin right there, too. I thought I just saw a plane. Am I crazy? Did you guys see that? Oh, shit, 
Stop saying help me, girls. What is wrong with you? Everything will be okay. You girls talk quite a bit, don't you? Alright, let's book it. Alright, maybe they should be yelling help me with the way I'm driving right now. Oh! Oh, we can't slow down. Oh, there we go. That'll help. Oh, too many zombies that way. We're taking a little bit of the express route here. Hold on, girls. Oh, that didn't... <laughs> that did not work out very well. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, no, please don't be stuck. Oh, we're good. We're good. That zombie just got plowed so badly. All right. Come on. Oh, jeez. We got this. We got this. All right, we're getting closer and closer to the airport. This vehicle should be able to make it there. The rain is now making it very, very easy for us to do this, though. The rain is making it quite difficult, to say the least. Yeah, we got the copy, so that's not an issue anymore. If there's something on this laptop that we need to know about, we will find out what it is. Why are you getting out? What? Girls! I swear I'll drive better! I'll drive better! Denied. Gosh, it is such a gruesome day still. These girls are just booking it. They're just living their lives. Girls, you come back? Oh no, they just bolted it. Oh, we lost our friends. That's a thing. All right, let's keep making our way back to the, or to the airport rather. It's probably better they didn't come with us anyway. Not like we'll be. Not like we'll be lonely or anything. It's better that they don't know what we're doing and what we're dropping off. I'll give us that for sure. At least this thing is a beast at handling zombies when it runs it over. Runs it over. Runs them over, rather. They just left me. Trevor's not having the best day at night. Not having the best zombie apocalypse. Oh, wow. We just lost our bull bars. This thing's going to start taking a lot more damage from zombies. Oh. Oh, it doesn't help. The brakes are kind of cut. The brakes are not working very well. Okay. There we go. All right. And we got to drop this off at their building, which was a very secluded location, if I recall. Not that secluded, but we gotta block it off so nobody can get to it. And then they'll take it down from there. So I believe here would work. There we go. Alright, we need to go ahead and get some barriers out. We need to get some barriers down on this thing. So that they can properly take a hold of this situation and get this laptop. Now we can get closer. We should just put a door here to make it even. There we go, see? Oh gosh, that's gonna not gonna be enough, I think. Alright, let's put the door away. Uh, do we have walls? We might have to kill some zombies. We have five walls. That should be more than enough here. Five walls. Let's lower this a bit. There we go. It's not a bad. It's not a bad base at all, I'd say though. If we were to make this a base, you know, a little bit makeshift, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. Alrighty. All right. So we locked ourselves in here. We can get out of here easy. We're keeping the laptop in there. Now we gotta make ourselves get out of here. I said that kind of weird. Make yourselves get out of here. 
and then go ahead and get ourselves all the way back. I love how the bullpup shotgun, or the, what is that? What shotgun is that? It's not the bullpup shotgun, is it? I forgot what it's called. Let's go ahead and, oh, it is the bullpup shotgun. I love how it just hangs off her belt. Doesn't that look cool? All right, let's get on out of here. We gotta find a vehicle and skedaddle. And skedaddle. Where can we find a vehicle? Parking lot would make too much sense. Oh, fudge. Oh, holy shoot! Well, we need to make the jump anyway. Fudge that hurt. Um. Hmm. We need to get ourselves back to base. I can hear the airport stuff going off still. Oh, great. There's zombies in the parking garage. As if I didn't hate them already. Maybe if we can find a ladder. Oh, there is a ladder here. We can keep going along here. And see if we can find a vehicle a little closer to the road here. Otherwise, we're going to have to take to the roads and start running as fast as possible. Is there a car? Oh, there's a car up there! There's a car up there. Oh, there's a ladder there, too. All right, we need to do this properly. We need to do this right. We got one shot, one opportunity to get out of here. Or else our mission's going to be compromised. Let's make our way down here. Oh, fudge. Wait, 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 wait. This is bad. How are we going to get there? Can we make the jump here? I don't know if we can make the jump. No, I don't think we can make the jump. We're going for it! Miku, it's gonna be okay! Hup! Nope. Okay. That did not work. That did not work. Alright. We're gonna go at it and go up here. And uh, we gotta build something, maybe. Maybe if we could put sand blocks. We don't have enough sand blocks. Um, barriers we can make. We might just have to go for a fall here. Alright, let's go back up. We're gonna have to fall. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, it might not hurt if we just slip off this edge. Oh! oh okay, you know. Back problems for the rest of my life, not a problem. Miku's my cat, by the way. Take our birds anywhere you like. Air Emu. Very interesting. Oh, hi, zombie. Oh, hi, zombies! I didn't expect to see you guys here. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna give you the business, sir. Get the fudge out of here. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, my gosh. I want to grab Miku. But I need to get in a car first. Here we go. If she meows again, I'm gonna grab her. Don't do it, Miku. Don't do it, Miku. Only one way out of here. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, fudge. Well, that was kind of successful. Oh no. This car's not doing so hot. Well, we had to do what we had to do to get out of here. Alrighty. Um, mechanic will have fun with this car, right? At least we got out of there. A little bit bloody. Look at her hand. We got a deep gash over here. We're gonna have to bandage ourselves up. Um, is there a way that we can get onto this highway and get back? We have gas in this too. This thing's good. Alright. Take out a few signs. Why not? Ain't a problem. Ain't a problem. Might be better if we take this highway up, though, actually. So let's go this way. Attract zombies to us. Why not? Um, okay, where can we get on the highway here? I'm trying to think. We should be able to get on somewhere close here. 
Oh, yep, just driving through. Nothing, nothing to see here, zombies. Nothing to see here. All right, oh, the highway's to the right. Okay, perfect. We could find a way onto there, and we should be good. We should be Gucci and Luke store. Louis store. I couldn't even say it there for a second. I'm so concentrated on driving. That's a pretty dope drift. Let's be real with ourselves here. That's a pretty dope drift. Okay, we need to get onto this highway. How are we supposed to get onto there? Um, bingo. All right, I see it. That's a bit rough. Oh, there's a G-Wagon there. I wouldn't mind stealing that instead. Don't got the luxury of time right now, though. Let's keep moving in here. Oh, this is the wrong way off the highway. We do not want to go this way. That's a one-way ramp. This thing does not go very fast. This thing is quite slow, I'd have to say. Let's keep booking it here. This might take a serious minute to get this thing up to max speed. Come on, we're clocking at 70 miles per hour. Push it, we need to reach 100 miles per hour, come on. Everything you got, car. The semi -null. Everything you got while dodging zombies, you beautiful, beautiful creation. 80 miles, come on, push it. I know you got it in you. I know you got it in you. Oh, it just hit. I just turned into what, that was like fifth gear? There we go, there we go. Just don't hit anything. We should make it there in no time. Here we go. Pushing 90. 90 miles per hour. This bad boy's going to explode before we get there. We're really getting everything we can out of it. It's got good gas mileage, though. Oh, please, no zombies. If we hit no zombies, we should get there in no time. Make the base in Area 51. We've been to the military base a few times. I mean, that's where the bunker leads out to, right? It starts where we're at in the desert and leads all the way to the military base. It's a freaking huge bunker, to say the least. Get a nice little drive back here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching this and enjoy the zombie apocalypse mod, you can't wait to see how season one ends and for season two to start. Make sure you smack that like button in three, two, one, like spike. Shout out to a couple of new super chats here we have victor who says love this mod could you do zombie pox mod on 8617 for me and my wife's anniversary can you shout us out our name is jesse and victor shout out to you jesse and victor appreciate the support um i don't know if i'll do it specifically on that date what is that what date is that oh gosh i'm just trying to drive and see here um i'll have to check out that date and time man but uh i will definitely Try to do a lot more zombie apocalypse mod, and uh, that's awesome. Thing. Oh gosh! Oh goodness gracious! Never text and drive. This car's done. Oh my gosh, we're so close to base. Why oh, we gotta walk it? Oh, we don't gotta walk it. Oh gosh, did we knock down this pole? I don't think we did. All right, let's repair this car. Get back to base. Shout out to you, Victor, though. Mike Moore and Ashton Shuley. Shout out to you, my friend. Why, oh, why do you exist? Get the fudge out of my face. We should check on the prison. Check on the prison another day. We gotta go ahead and get the fudge out of here. Oh, they're swarming that car there. That was a lot of flips, I gotta say. That was kind of impressive, actually. That was kind of impressive. Oh, I didn't mean to honk the horn. This car is absolute garbage, though, let's be real. As we thought the other one had mad top speed. This one has worse mad top speed. This thing's struggling to reach. We gotta go off road with it too. Oh no. Are you bloody serious? It's not gonna be making it up that hill. We gotta get a little running start. Here we go. Shout out to everybody who joined in on that like spike. Almost 10,000 likes during this late night. I would say this is a late night live stream for sure. So shout out to all you guys who made it out here live. And if you didn't make it out live, thank you for watching the video. Especially at this point, you're a real one. Shout out to you, my friend. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. We're going to do Twitter shout outs here in just a second. 
Oh, this thing does not sound like it's going to make it very far, does it? Uh, well, we're lucky to make it back. Hopefully we'll hear something. They haven't pinged us back. Frickin' Special Agent Colt. Or whatever her name is. Let's leave this for the frickin' Mechanic. Mechanic, did you already take care of- Oh, you didn't take care of that one. Well, I got another vehicle for you as well. My goodness gracious. A lot happened in this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new around here. And whether you're new or already subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell beside it to turn on post notifications so you never miss a live stream again. Um, we're going to go ahead and do Twitter shots for those who retweeted over on Twitter. Shout out to a bunch of you guys showing that mad support. I really like the thumbnail today. Make sure you guys check it out over on Twitter. We had over 400 retweets. We had typical Alex, Stay, uh, typical Ben, Ultimate Game. Gamer. We live baby typical gamer. Uh, hey, that's my name TJ uh, <laughs> And we have Leroy you're not the real one. We have lying Don Hayden Mason Jack uh, General uh, Nadiv Andrew typical savage Jack Hayes Sean Thorne chip Jarrett beast mode Michael Barnes Christian uh, Josu uh, we have Damien uh, Joey Kerr, Chris C, Aaron Lopez, Kavish, Nicholas, Kevin, Ryan, Ajaris, Zarin, Vaughn, Mason, and everybody else. Shout out to all you guys for the amazing support. Thank you guys so much for supporting the zombie mod as much as you guys do. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you do follow me over on Twitter, though. That's where I talk to you guys the most. That's where I let you guys know what's going on for the day, let you know schedules, let you know what's happening, what's not happening. Twitter.com slash typicalgamer. But if you don't got Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all of that link in the description below. Make sure you just subscribe over here. And shout out to, we got another super chat here. We got Gamer Girl. I did you just got done with surgery and I did not want to miss your live stream. So the doctors gave me a laptop. I love you. What is your next live stream? Gamer Girl, I hope your surgery went great. Sending positive vibes your way. And um, next live stream is going to be tomorrow. Probably will be ARC. And I'm going to be doing a lot more GTA 5 mods soon as well. I've took a little break from them. I did. And you guys have been loving ARK and all the other games. But I do want to get back to GTA 5 mods. I think I also will be doing a GTA 5 story mode walkthrough. I haven't actually... I did a full first person one. But I didn't do like a third person one. And I really do want to play GTA 5 again. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And also I want to try doing Red Dead Redemption as well. But if you have any game suggestions, any new games, old games, anything you want to play, let me know in chat. And without you guys, none of this is possible. So thank you guys for being so awesome. Team TG, you are the best. Remember that. Don't forget it. Tell yourself you're awesome. You're awesome, man. You're freaking awesome. Keep on being awesome, all right? Do it for me. Do it for you. The world's more awesome because of you guys. All right, guys. That's going to be wrap for today, though. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully Trevor gets his family back soon. OJ Juice Man, shout out to you for that super chat. That's going to be wrap for today, though. Um, yeah, everything you know, need to know, link in the description below. Check out Dying Light as well. That was a cool zombie apocalypse game. Uh, you'll see that probably up here you can click on. And then if you want to check out Ark, a link will be in the description below. And uh, that's going to be wrap for today, guys. One more super chat here. Can't be random. Shout out to you, my friend. That's going to be wrap, though. Talk to you guys over on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And peace out.